So here's the different brain waves. Beta is the brain wave that you're doing right now. It's your thinking mind. And all the beta means is there's a certain speed at which the brain cells are working. And lots of them all across your brain, not just in one spot. There's a very fast part of beta called gamma. It's unusual. It's seen not as often. It's just beginning to be tested, apparently. And it appears to be one of those brain waves that allows interesting information to come to us. Perhaps some of that download stuff from our intuitive parts. The alpha wave is slower. The theta wave that's usually seen in sleep during dreaming or that you can reach in meditation, is slower yet. And the slowest wave that's been found is called delta. It's extremely slow. Delta is usually only seen in the very unconscious, non-dreaming part of sleep. In the workshop that I'm going to do, we're going to explore a whole lot more of this, but I want to show you just the tantalizing beginning parts of it. The Tibetan monks, that had been tested at the University of Wisconsin in Richard Davidson's lab, in a waking state, run beta, sometimes gamma, and delta at the same time. That's very unusual. Your favorite wonderful psychic is going to do one of those amazing readings tonight. What's her name? No, no. <laughs> Runs beta gamma. When I've been tested, I run beta gamma. It appears to be the very deep brain activity that's related to healing. Obviously, there are other parts that uh, work with that also. I'll show you what happens. This is not that a gamma running brain wave does the healing. It is that your brain responds to the energy by doing these unusual brain wave patterns. The energy is beyond that. Beta, I'll make that really clear. Beta, delta. Beta, delta. You run. So here I am in New York City just some weeks ago being fit with a different kind of headband. And here is the gentleman that we worked with. He's fit with a headband, and so am I. So this person was recording the person receiving healing and the person sending the healing. This young man had severe arthritis, was in a lot of pain. And his brain waves when we started were very minimal. He was like, oh, I'm in pain. So I started doing the clearing work and then deepening it, in this case, to removing inflammation to calling the cells to clear up all the real crunchy things that make arthritis painful and make bumpy, knobby fingers and knees. In just a few minutes, his brain waves, his theta are very low, his alpha is low, his theta is low. Phew, he goes delta. He picks up in synchrony the dimension of delta, apparently, that I'm saying. Here's my brain during one part of this. Here's the gamma part, here's beta, here's what's known as the alpha bridge. I feel very peaceful, relaxed, and well-being while I'm working. Here's beta, and at this point, my delta is very low, but it usually spreads all the way out. It's very, very strong during the this is this particular brain pattern, according to Anna Weiss and Kay, who, um, through the generation before us, did the groundbreaking work in this area, is called the awakened mind. Also, while I'm working, the evolved mind shows up. And it's fascinating because all the brain waves are about equal. It looks like a big circle. It's simply like touching the depth of the spirit. My fabulously wonderful
we worked together on someone, our brains went in synchrony and flowed from the awakened to the evolved mind, awakened, evolved mind, back and forth. Now, what's the result of this? Okay, this is interesting, your brain's doing blah, blah, blah. This gentleman called me 10 days after our session, and he said, my arthritis is 90% better. I feel so much better. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And nothing had touched it before. So here's the books. Cell Level Healing, published uh, in 06. The paperback was released last year. It's still doing very well. And it's been called a classic, oh my goodness. It has 30-some pages of pictures, including pictures with the electron microscope so you can see cells. And my latest one was published this January called Resonance. Uh, it's one where each chapter is dropped in in meditation, actually. This is a picture, I always love to show the very latest thing, from the very current issue of the Journal of Science, published by American Association for Advancement Science. And this is a new molecular complex that slides along DNA, and it's part of what makes the difference as to what DNA is coded and then active in your body or not. So here's one of these way down inside the cell. What's going on? When we're working with genetic disorders, or disorders that are epigenetically affected from the outside, this is the kind of stuff we're actually affecting. Molecular complexes that look like this. Uh, Tuesday, 9 to noon, practical applications. We're going to work from galaxies to DNA. Thank you very much. Successful for many, many 